Hello, and welcome back to another segment of Chrono <laughs> Chrono Cross, excuse me. Um, it's been about a week since the last one, so I thought to keep you guys informed that um, this is a continuing series. I can just stop. I got some uh, not so great feedback about my mic quality, so I've been thinking about maybe just doing this once a week until I get a better mic. Um, and doing most of the content in Gran Turismo in the meantime. Uh, for whatever reason, the microphone is just fine on that game. Here, it might be that the music is so dank, it's hard to hear me. Um, I'm also accepting a new mic, if you want to expedite that. Uh, leave a comment about hooking it up with a mic. Uh, only restriction, it has to be compatible with the PlayStation 4. Uh, I'm not going to start emulating it on a PC, because that's the only thing that the mic works on. Um, so, use for compatible, mic me up, or not, or wait, <laughs> rather. And, uh, let's get to carry on with at least one of these will be. And, um, let's see, where is my phone? Oh, probably right over here. Now I forget what I was thinking about doing is we got all that iron from um, the pirates. Let's iron it up at the smithy. Unless we already did that. I think I was sleeping in suspicion that's something we already did. Now, at which point in the game things kind of open up. We can explore, we've got the whole world. We might even have the whole other world to look into. Um, one thing at a time. Got to have it. Iron dagger, don't need it. Iron glove. Um, I'll take a few of those. Oh, I see Pip is the only one who can have one. Never mind, that's not a that's a weapon. Iron ladle. In case we need oops. In case we need uh Number, number stockpiles. So I already have stuff. Um, I think I did this. Oh, you know what it is? I didn't have out the iron before, I so I only did the necessary things. Uh, iron vest. What's better, iron vest or iron mail? Well, we can only do best. That's the last of our iron. I think we did do this recently. Um, why didn't you have your sword equipped, guy? Yeah, okay. I do have iron sword. Okay. That has to stay the same. <laughs> I think I'm out of iron at least. I don't think I can make any iron helm. Or shot iron nail. Yeah, she's already good. Iron copper. Look, how did she already have iron now? Oh, I see. She had mail. And not best. Interesting. Um, so what else? I think we're good. So, now we're talking about what's up next. Um, in this era of PlayStation RPGs, I'm pretty sure once the world opens, you actually have a pretty good amount of time before you 
can't do things anymore. In fact, it's almost kind of been five years. We could travel to a bunch of places, or it would just be too OP for us. So I say we'll continue on, um, and avoid fighting stuff that's going to be too strong for the time being. I think this cast member set is pretty solid. Um, can't think of anybody this early in the game who I'd want to replace Lucia with. But that's who's getting swapped when they do, because I'm going to keep Glenn. Okay. Uh, we have a whole RPG to, to check out. To get the blessing from the water dragon. It's hard to believe, but according to the fairies here, the legendary dragon god really exists. That thick wall of ice block in the entrance to the underground cavern proves it. El Nido sure is full of mysteries. Don't say. Okay, so we'll get a sense of how tough if we belong here or not. Damn, that's a weird creature. Magic's alright. So what do you say about my magic? from these fights. So let's avoid encounters until we get a boss. I'll well, take it. We don't mind that. Forces of nature astonishing this place is where we're standing was covered in water just a few days ago. And now dry due to the unusual weather we've been having lately. It's not a pretty sight. It was given sturdy ribs. Yeah, I had pretty good uh, physique. Did I ever tell you I did acrobatics? Hey, that's right, I used to be a clown in the circus. Okay, this is. Well, that should be a 
slide down. And uh, I have to see what's in here before I go to the next room. As of late, everyone was talking about the existence of dragons. We adventurers have been researching it for a while now, though. That's it? Alright. are very strong, so we can't fly very too far. It's a different story if we can catch the wind. The wind is capricious. Remember that word. Uh, just like we are. Have you come to this island seeking the dragon god? If so, please turn back now. Due to abnormal weather conditions, the fountain has run completely dry. This land, once called the Island of Springs, is desolate as you now see. Huh. This treasure chest doesn't look so desolate. Okay. Got it. I can take the hint. Uh, again, with this multi-directional, let's do a left or right. We have to restore some kind of water in this place. <clears throat> Did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? A small star fell into the sea of the triplet islands. But that wasn't a long time ago. Oh, no say. The mist of the sea was an invitation to uh, of the dark embracing the abyss of, uh, an abyss of darkness. It's a lost souls gather. reminds me of my childhood, not even just having played this as a kid, and probably just like growing up around Berkeley, the furious are born from the morning to two drops of an aged tree. The large tree that stands in the center is like our fairy godmother. Oh no, it's dying. You hear Melly Paxson is going to play the next fairy godmother in Disney's Descendants. I otherwise would not know or care about that had it not been for Melly Paxson, mind you. I'm not a Disney person. I'm a Melly Paxson person. Um, so I guess I don't know if we ever had some kind of solution to this uh, dried up place. I we have a tech that guy, we've got a set of bones. Okay, this is probably too advanced. Um, we're pretty much due for going to the other dimension. But, um, Get out, humans! 
<laughs> Damn. Well, we deserve it. We don't want any humans here. Now beat it. What is it, human? What are you doing here? You humans are an ill omen. This dates back 14 years to when I was informed that humans were on their way to Mobul. That day I witnessed the most terrifying storm I have ever seen. Those humans never showed up. I was sure they were swallowed by the storm. However, that same day I heard a rumor. A rumor that someone had made such made their way through the pearly gates. Perhaps they did survive that storm. Ah, that no longer matters now. The elder who knew about the incident passed away years ago. The point is, humans are bad luck. Now eat. I just want to raid your belongings. Not that bad. Mr. Wilson! Okay, well this guy let us walk up around him. Yeah, we, we just get hated on here. That's fine. It's like my day-to-day -day life. Bro of G's shop. Hey, welcome to G's shop, baby. Bro of, uh, don't worry, I still deal with non-demi-humans. That was good. You notice that? How it said non-demi-humans as if the normality there is demi-human. That was a very subtle thing that they threw in there. I, I appreciate that. Um, buy something. What you got? Ooh, I'm running low on shits. Unless I don't have any. I need at least one of everything. One of those. Nimble, nimble, and nimble. See, man, that's so good. What does high res do? Temporarily increases your defense, okay. Nerfs and buffs, eagle eye. That eye. Okay. Thanks, baby. What was this chat? You know, I have this big dream of expanding the shop. I can't be picky with who I sell to, but let the customers come to me. I just wait and see, baby. I'm gonna make this the biggest shop in El Nido. Hell yeah. Kid bro of G's shop. Yo, baby, buy some uh, of my stuff too. Wow, he's got a ton of stuff we don't have too. It's a consumable. To catch Inferno Element? Is that a trap? To catch Inferno, Inferno Element? Holy fuck. Frog Prince. And you notice a star? I feel like that's something you have, equip have to have equipped for a boss. Man. I'm not going to be prepared for this. We'll have one just in case, so we don't get super mad. Good stuff. Don't tell my bro, but I've got stuff he don't got, baby.
That should be done in more RPGs. If you don't have anything meaningful for the NPC to say, just have them say nothing. You know, the gamer doesn't matter that much. Stay away from me. I said stay away. I don't want to talk to humans. Okay. Gotta earn some kind of blessing, it sounds like. You don't have a hood pass yet, but by the looks of it. Let me advise you, many in our village detest humans. If there's something you wish to know, I might be able to help. Only on the condition that you leave soon. What is this you have you wish to know? I'm about to see you didn't about the black dragon, but I'm about to see you. What you wish you not to know about this evening? You know, if I told you, there's no way for you to enter it. The poisonous leaves that cause instant death surround the sea. Anyone with head on their shoulders would know not to go uh, near there. That place is cursed. The eternal flames of the gods are trying to burn their way into the hearts of the humans. It is much too dangerous, even for the sea balls to avoid flying over that place. There are rumors that long ago a deadly dragon sealed the flame in that. It is also rumored that a time is reversed there. I strongly urge that you not go near it. About the black dragon. You may have already seen the black dragon residing in our village. And it's been asleep for many years now. No one knows why. But the last ruling elder of his book as follows. The black dragon dream of the black dragon unable to return it continues to wander. I know not what it means. Anything else? Nothing. Bye now. You got anything to leave? Dragon's voice. Okay, where to next? It's pretty much like the south. Take care of. I don't think we can go here. This place. Sky Dragon Isle. Now, I don't think we'll be able to do Dragon, or excuse me, Red Dragon, um, until we get some kind of lava spell or something. Because uh, that's the place we'll burn you at. This island is considered holy ground by the local residents, it's considered a taboo to come near it. But there's no such thing as a taboo for the adventurous spirits. Right on. This island is said to be where the sky dragon resides, but I seem to have gone away. Oh man. About a hundred years before the human came from the continent came here, the dragonians and demi-humans still existed in great numbers. Gonna diverse to diversify these voices a little bit. What a lovely fucking environment, man. Birds chirping. And I'm a weird guy like that. I don't. I get annoyed when I hear birds chirping in real life and they're like loud in the morning and shit. But in this kind of setting, it's pretty pretty sick. 
of it. going to have to go anywhere anyway to solve this issue of the dried up uh, water temple. Earth Dragon. I think this is going to be a bit advanced for us. This is like silver items at least. But we'll see. Pull this underground cavern where our men are now, down there now. Okay. Find some treasure boxes. Can I descend? Oh, go down, yes. Now this is tricky because you can go down the wrong thing if you're not careful. people to actually come down here. What are you? Just curious or just stupid? <laughs> Sorry, I'm just rude by nature. Don't let the bar leave you. Race. And I think that's the way you can escape. That shoots you up to the top, I'm pretty sure. Okay, this thing might be kind of rough. I just said it wasn't the easiest enemy. Island, Earth Dragon Island. But it's also known as the Land of the Dragon Slayers. Our investigations reveal nothing as to the so called dragons who have been hoax. Alright, so that's another one off the list. Uh, we could potentially explore it, but I don't think that's meant for us at this time. This sounds like it's within reason. This is a cool ass background, fuck yeah. Cool ass music. Okay, we've gotta get a sense for some enemy strength before we get lost here. Is that like a pig snout, dude? Maybe just visual looks that way. I think 
that's within reason. Barely. It's a little bit advanced. Let's, let's get out of here. I don't think 77 off the bat is such a good start. Okay, so it's not here that we need to go. No, this is like the sickest place. It's all bones and stuff. It's all that squishy matter, like tissue. Is that like a bunch of deadness? Here it looks like it would be coral. Um, sea of Eden, I don't think we can enter. No, I think if it's red, it's got a. Visit our homies. I don't think that pirate ever joined our party. Did you? Is that gonna attract to him? important actually. It was like just a fire blocking it. What was this? That looks like something you would crawl through. Right? Maybe it was just something to get ideas brewing. What's up buddy? Oh hi mateys. Make yourself at home. Let's make it more rugged. Um, okay, so... That's not what you do with this time. And all signs are telling me to either try to enter Port Draconia. Uh, the Water Dragon place was saying that there's something about the um, the mist that, that was weird. And that there was also some kind of thing to hit the sea. Well, how do I get on my boat again? Inner world map. From here. Maybe you got a dock. Oh, go down. Go do. Go do it, buddy. What are you doing? Go down. There's gotta be a better way to get to your ship than this. I'm not coming back here. If you gotta do this every time. Where's my boat? about to leave. I'll take care. Okay, that's how you do it. They do have a smarter way. Um, pure Shore. Pyre Shore. Now we're going 
in here, we're going to intercept the Viper mission. And it's not too lethal. That thing looks pretty gnarly. Let's get our feelers out to see if we can keep up here. Oh no. Problems with our uh, equipment. Some, some, some gear for this. That's like lava we're standing in. Holy shit. Okay, so we got that. Okay, next shop we got we gotta pick up some tabs. Pick up some more cures too. That would probably require more of this along the way, but that one is pretty important. Okay, so we found and get this guy dragon's blessing. Not it. Well, not, at least not here. So we've got business to do to handle in this world. By the looks of it. Um, and I don't think it's necessary to go to the gravestone. Anchor Marsh is going to be too strong. Looks like the forest is the only thing in this at my level. There's a very weird gimmick that I was working on in the last level, the last episode at this place where you have to lure these guys, I think. Uh... 
have another idea. Okay, so we're still red scented. God damn it. or something? That's going this way. Let's go this way. Go your own way. Well, which way is that? What are you doing? Um, I might have to look this up. This is too obscure for me to randomly piece it together in this amount of time. No, we can change that. Maybe you don't like it when I look up the solution, uh, which I do try to avoid. Um, tell me, tell me what you prefer. Do you like to save time, or do you like me to rough it out? Um, hold on. I have a Roma pouch. So maybe I have to... Okay. Okay, I already got that. I already got the skelly. Let me read this while we have a moment. thing, it's not luring him, but my logic would then be acting out of it. I wish these guys would at least die permanently, but I think they just respond. Get the closest one, which is this guy. Where did you even come from? Okay, and what is that guy? Is he the yellow one? Okay, I'm just gonna try to see what happens when I put all of these things. So fucking annoying.
gotta find the corresponding one for him. And if I recall, this game is kind of tricky. Or excuse me, this part is kind of tricky. There's like a path that you wouldn't think is there, but is there. There's something weird. Um, red, so no. closest one. And I think we have to feed all three of them to this sleeping creature. I think that's what's supposed to happen. But if he eats it, He's still working with me, come on. Okay, maybe he just needs more. Maybe you can't let him get it, maybe if he gets it, then it's a bust. It's gonna be kind of hard. He's all the way back, so let's see if we can get some touch him as far away as possible. Ah, oh, when he gets it, fuck! It's like I always get stuck on something, right? At the worst time. Bloody annoying. I hit the L3 button. And then that prompts some kind of action. I don't know what that coughing person is. That in quiet mode or something? Okay. Let's well, not move too quickly to get stuck. That's not even the right one for him. Got the wrong bloody one. You know what? Let's not even fuck with it until we get at least one. Let's get the first one. I don't even know where the blue one is. It's gonna suck. I supposed to? That's crazy. Let's take some time to explore in here, see if the blue one's down here, maybe. Will this thing's respond? He's going where I want him to. That worked? Okay, I, it's different than I thought it was. So you just basically have to... ...not get into an encounter. No? He's not here. Let's get another... ...orb. Well, 
yeah, there was something about how he's, how Surge steps into the water, he slows down just enough for him to catch up and eat it. Come on, you make it. I'm worried if he gets too far from it, then I will retreat. We only need to do it once. We have to defeat this thing to get through. Awesome. Thank God. I was prepared for that to suck a lot more than it did. Not my turn. Magma Burst is about. If it seems green, red should hurt it. Yeah, it's already fucking hurt that much. Wasn't even a boss fight. Hopefully, we don't have to repeat that. To you. Heal. Quick. That's not a way. Wow, that was godlike. I see, we need the, um, the Water Dragon's Blessing, so that we can traverse the magma. That's what that's about. Water boats do be like that, though. Stop. Oh shit. That doesn't have any real importance for the story, but the fact that you can do that. Um, I don't know why that's there. But maybe there's a point later in the game where you can't approach from the, the other side or something like that. That's really cool when parts of the map connect to parts that you weren't expecting them to. Okay, so that makes everywhere. In this realm, at least. WB. Um. Hmm. No point in taking the bluffs if our boat's not gonna be down there. I've never figured out what this is about. Um, I have the parlor key. Did I ever use that thing? What is even the parlor? I think I did. Um, well, let's do another explore in the manor. I feel like I've got a key that I never used. We already saw this. What's well, making me think is things like this. No. Um. 
Why are you still here? Huh? Lynn, what are you doing? <laughs> that's the, that's all that is like. Uh, what's going on here? Uh, that was kind of uneventful. So the other thing I think the parlor key could be is for this, possibly. It's locked. No, I don't think it's going to be here that we'd use this. So we've got a lot of locked stuff in this building. Um, the parlor key... I don't think would imply anything on that highest floor. We already checked all that stuff out. Um, we could check in with, uh, Miss Riddell. See how she's going. Parlor. Interesting, kind of foreshadowing the forest a little bit. Oh my goodness, that night you guys are the ones who get rested and shield me. I follow her men out. Or Dragonia. So, I don't think it's in Viper Manor. Um, unless the parlor is this guy's hidden bookshelf. No. Um, yeah, we've... Um, maybe... We use um, a water spell on the tree. I don't think elements work like that in this game, though. But I think there's some kind of key item or some event needs to happen for it to rain at the water dragons. Okay, folks, I gotta clip it here. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna do another one back to back, and I'll see you shortly.